Hi boys and girls, my name is Melody Wolsey and I'm an art teacher at Slate Run Elementary and I thought I'd share an art project with you today. We're stuck in our homes and um, we're looking for things to do. So uh, I'm gonna share how to make these salt dough clay owls with you using some simple ingredients that most of us might have in our, in our homes. Um, so what you're gonna need today is you're going to need some all-purpose flour. If you have allergies, you can use like a gluten-free product for this. You're gonna need some salt and some water. Of course, some measuring cups because you're gonna have to measure your, um, your ingredients out. I also have gathered some tools from around the house to add texture. That's how I add the design and the texture to my owl. Texture is how um, something feels. So we're gonna be using some different tools to push into the clay to um, add some texture. I have some stuff like a fork and a knife. It's a plastic fork and a knife. Um, you can use um, you know, silverware as long as it's okay with your adult friend because um, it'll wash off. Um, I've got a marker lid. This is a Sharpie marker lid. You may use a Crayola marker lid or a pen lid. This is pretty much used to get the eye shape on my owl, the circle that you see. If you wanna draw the circle on there, that's fine too. I have some sharp tools like either a toothpick or a pencil. Um, I have a straw. And then I also grab some noodles because sometimes noodles are fun to use to add texture and I'll show you what to do with those. Um, you will need a bowl and a, a wooden spoon which uh, to mix your clay with. Um, I'm, I'm going to be building my project on a cookie sheet just so I can like um, turn it towards you so you can see what I'm doing but you don't need one of those. You can just use your counter or your table to, to make your piece. I do suggest you do this in the kitchen, so clean up is a little bit easier, um, and then um, uh, make sure you have an adult friend with you as well. Um, so what we're gonna do first is we're gonna take our bowl, and we're going to start putting our salt dough clay ingredients in it. Now, um, Salt dough, you can just let this um, air dry. It takes a couple of days before it's kind of hard. Um, remember, this is a piece of art. It's not something to, pl something to play with. Um, I um, made these like a day ago. I had to f have to flip them over though because the back of it's still a little bit doughy. The front's pretty dry, but the back of it's still a little bit doughy. So the next day you might wanna flip your piece over so um, the back of it can dry. You can um, paint these with some acrylic paint if you have that at home to add some more detail to your owl. And then even if you have Mod Podge at home, you can seal it with some Mod Podge. But if you don't have any of that stuff, you can still kind of just make him and leave him how he is. It's still fun to make and it's still cute, okay? So what we're gonna do first is we're gonna get our bowl and we're going to get a measuring cup of a half a cup of flour and dump that in our bowl. Make sure you get all the ingredients. Then I have a fourth a cup of my table salt. Dump that in. And then I have a fourth a cup of water. Now I was supposed to have a wooden spoon, but forgot to grab one, so I'm just gonna use my fork to mix it up. So, cause you, cause you kinda wanna incorporate the ingredients before you pick it up with your hands, cause you are gonna pick this up with your hands and we are going to knead it, just like, like a cookie dough or pizza dough. It's a different type of knead. It's not the knead, like N-E-E-D, like I need to have a piece of chocolate cake right now. It's knead. K-N-E-A-D. So you kind of just want to mash your ingredients together and stir it in your bowl slowly until you kind of get incorporated. So 
so I've got it pretty incorporated. I'm going to stand up now just because I think it's easier to knead things. You're going to pick it up in your hand and kind of start squeezing it. That's going to combine the ingredients better. You want to get those little crumbs that are, have fallen on to, to the bottom of the bowl. You can kind of push your ball of clay into it too to pick it up. So just keep squeezing it and working it in your hands. This is going to make your dough a little bit more um, easy to work with. Now if, you've, if your dough is a little bit too wet, you might want to add a little bit more flour to your dough. Um, if it's a little bit too dry, then maybe you want to put a little bit more water in your dough, but like not a just a little bit, you know, just to where you get it to the consistency where it's not really sticking to your hands. Um, and it almost kind of feels like, like Play-Doh, if anybody's ever played with Play-Doh. Okay, I think I've got my dough to a pretty good feel and consistency. Now, I had enough dough this is just a small batch. You can totally like double the measurements and make a lot more. But this is enough to where, to where I was able to make um, three of these owls and like, I guess they're all kind of like different sizes, but um, I made three small owls with, um, with this batch of clay to start. Now I'm gonna put mine on a cookie sheet just so I can hold it up to you and show you guys what I'm doing to them. Um, but if you're working on a countertop or you know a wooden table, or if you wanna do the cookie sheet, that's fine. You probably wanna put something down to where your, your dough won't stick. I'm just gonna sprinkle a little flour. Not a lot, just a little bit. You don't wanna to incorporate too much more flour, it'll dry your dough out. Um, or if you have like a piece of parchment paper, I didn't have any, so that would work too. So you want to pinch like a little bit of your dough off to make your first owl. If you want to just make one today and maybe come back tomorrow and make something, um, make another one tomorrow, make something different, you can just put this like in a plastic bag and throw it in the fridge and come back to it tomorrow. Now after you pinch your little um, piece of dough off. You want to kind of roll it into a ball. You're going to put it on the surface with the flour and you're going to squish it flat. Now as you can see it kind of stuck to my hand so I'm going to flip it over carefully and push some more flour onto it flat to where I kind of get like a um, cookie circle shape and you kind of want it the thickness of a cookie. You might want to kind of flip it a few times to kind of get that flour on there so it doesn't stick. Because this is kind of like a dough, like a pizza dough, because it has, you know, flour and water in it. Now, once you get your circle shape um, to the thickness that you want, and it doesn't have to be a perfect circle, it's still going to look cute. Um, you're going to make his face. So what I did to do that is um, I took the top of my circle and I'm going to fold it towards me. Okay, so I got something like, oop, he's falling, something like that. Okay, now, here I'll pick my phone up and show it to you that way. So I have a circle shape that kind of looks like that, okay? Then I need to make his, um, his two little ears. So you're going to pinch the top a little bit, not too much. Um, you kind of want to be gentle because this is really soft. You're going to pinch the top of his head up like that. So I kind of pinched his ears up to make his little ears. Now, 
if you have like any cracks in um, the clay around his body or his face, that's where like this cup of water comes in. Just dip your finger in it. You don't need a lot of water, just one little finger. And this, you can smooth right over those little wrinkles and smooth them out and get rid of those cracks, okay? You don't want a lot of water because then you're just gonna make more dough. Um, now, now that I've got my owl body, um, the shape that I want, I'm gonna start using those tools to um, add my texture, okay? I think I'm actually gonna like take the phone and hold it over the piece so you guys can see a little bit better. So the first thing we're gonna do is we are going to use that marker lid to make his eyes. So what I'm gonna do is at the top of his face, I'm going to push in my marker lid the two circles, just like that. Then I'm gonna use a, I'm gonna grab another owl so we have an example close by. Then I'm gonna grab a sharp tool, which could be like a pencil or um, your toothpick will work too. I'm gonna make his pupils. So I just put another little dot right in the middle of that circle, okay? Now we need to give him a beak. Now I made this beak here with um, a pencil and I kinda just made little dots to form the shape of the beak. But I was gonna try a knife this time because I think I might get like a straighter line with the knife if you like maybe put a line at the top underneath his eyes and then kind of make your triangle that way. Yeah, that worked a little bit better. Now to, sh to make the shapes of his wings, you can also use the knife. You're just gonna put two more little marks like that. Now to get these feather shapes, um, you can use your marker lid again to kind of just press in to like half of the lid to press into the clay and give him some texture on his belly. I mean, the straw would even work too if you want to kind of just press the side of the straw in like that. Um, the noodle. Um, now the noodle does, this noodle has some texture on the um, outside, so you could totally use that to kind of roll texture on to your owl. You can kind of see what it does when you press it into the clay. I did press kind of hard and it messed the shape up, so you might want to just kind of push it back. Or you can even use, you know, that circle shape on the noodle to um, make your texture too. Um, that's pretty much all the tools that the straw you can also um if you wanted to like hang your owl on the wall or in the window or maybe make an ornament out of your owl somewhere on your owl i think the best spot might be like up here by his ear if you have room between his eyes you could do it there but you could press a hole all the way through the clay the clay would like just stick up there in the straw and then you kind of have like a little hole for your owl to hang him with, okay? So that's pretty much it, it's pretty simple and um, hopefully it'll give you something fun to do um, with your family and um, you guys could all make a little owl family together and um, have a good time that way. But um, I had a good time, this was um, different for me. I've never like made a video like this before, but I hope you enjoyed it and maybe I'll make another one. We'll see. Take care of yourselves. Bye-bye.